guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am minor sukla and watching your tech channel my cold works i hope you are doing well and today video is all about how to install flutter in windows 10 so guys today i'm gonna talk about and show you step by step procedure how to install flutter right so before going to installation process i will tell you what is flutter right so flutter is a open source software development kit which is developed and created by google so using flutter you can develop using flutter you can develop for ios application as well as you can develop android application with same flutter code base now a days using flutter you can develop desktop applications web applications as well as chrome extensions so a lot of things we can develop using flutter so let's start guys our installation process so if you search uh, flutter install windows then you will get a link here that is windows install flutter documentation so they have documented everything step by step and we can follow this so when you click on this you will see this one so and they are saying that system requirement whether your uh, system is meeting the requirement or not you can check it out here itself so your uh, operating should be operating system should be greater than windows 7 or later later uh, versions right like 10 or 11 so this space should be 1.64 gb and uh, the two start goods that we are gonna install here that is git for windows and version 2 and windows powershell 5.0 this will become as a pre-install in windows 10 if you are using and git for windows uh, this one we can download it here from itself and when we click we will able to uh, download it right so you can just click on download and install it right no issues before moving to next step please if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel don't forget to hit like button and comment if you have any doubt please let me know in comment box i will share all the links possible links in uh, description box so that you can easily track whatever uh, uh, things i have uh, checked here right so let's move to sdk part right so software development kit as i already told that it's a flutter is your sdk right ui uh, sdk so we have to download the sdk first right so as you can see here they are given the link and after clicking this it will start uh, downloading right so i have already downloaded this one but uh, that one was 2.10.3 so uh, as you can see here i already downloaded this one total windows 2.10.3 is stable version now they have upgraded to uh, 0.4 right so it's same only right little bit more changes but uh, you can download this one once you download it you will get something like this as a zip file and after that what they are saying that uh, after downloading we have to extract the zip file and place in uh, contain flutter if like desired location uh, that will be uh, c that will be csrt so flutter will uh, this flutter folder will come when you when you uh, extract this uh, zip file so what you can do in c you can just create a src folder that one already have created so as you can see src and here flutter is how it came just you you have to extract this uh, downloaded uh, zip file right so once you extract the file you will get a, fl a flutter folder and you can simply replace or you can just copy or paste here in src folder so you will get something like this right so all the things will be here after extracting so now let's move to next step is uh, do not install in any uh, uh, part that contains special character or species so you just uh, check also right and do not install in c program files because it will ask for permissions like uh, eligible privileges so as uh, they have mentioned here only we are going to install now if you don't want to install uh, this right then you can simply uh, get their uh, source code itself and you can start working on this right so uh, they have given the uh, git link here itself and a stable version git clone you can just get all the uh, code source code itself now let's move to update your path so update your path basically uh, we have to edit our system environment variable and once we update our path then it's easy to track whether uh, flutter is got installed or not right so what they are saying that please search env in, in environment okay 
so I have to search env right env and here you will get a system environment variables and they are saying that under uh, users user variable check if there is an inchi call path so I have to first click on environment variable and inside that they are saying it if in inside user variable if there is any path so I have to click on path okay so path I got and what they are saying okay uh, path then if the entry exist append the full path to the up to the flutter bin using this separator so what we can do if path exist we are going to append right what we are going to do a uh, flutter and bin so we are going to copy this path whole path and we are going to enter in append right so what we can do here we can create a new one and we can paste it here right and i will just add now we have appended the uh flutter bin path right if uh, path is not exist when we can create a path variable and inside that we can put this one flutter bin right so this is all about up to updating your path now once you have done it you can search the uh, with this one whether the path got updated or not right so i have already downloaded uh, powershell i have already and i have already downloaded git right so i can search uh, git here itself git git bash if you search uh, then okay so let me just copy let me open uh, cmd here itself or powershell you can say right flutter so uh, just wait uh, we are going to run this one right uh, where flutter dart so we are going to say where flutter dart uh, it's not uh, it is not able to find right okay just second what is saying that you have to close open console for changing to take the effect okay apply i have to do i think so okay no issues so i have uh, done right everything so what we can do run flutter doctor so okay uh, so no issues if we already uh you know everything got uh, succeeded here then we can run directly flutter doctor and it should uh, say something like this if it is saying something like this then then our flutter is got installed that's it right so let's uh, do that one right uh, what is saying that in source flutter flutter doctor okay so basically flutter and here they are saying that open the command and uh, okay flutter doctor okay let's wait for uh, the response after executing this command till that it's executing uh if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please do subscribe guys i need your support because your support your like your comment only excite me to more work on more videos right so yeah, i can see here uh it's a uh, running pub flutter pub gate in flutter tools and they are saying that welcome to flutter flutter.dev let's wait for the more response and it's executing still right so yeah i have executed this uh, flutter doctor right here itself it will clear whether flutter got installed or not and and everything right so after that let's move to uh what it's saying that you can just uh, read all this about right after installing you can up flutter upgrade for upgrading right as we have uh, i have installed like i have already downloaded flutter 2.10.3 right if i want to upgrade it to point 10.4 then i can simply flutter upgrade right and it will upgrade up to that uh, new version now uh as you can see here while they're saying that we are going to also set up android studio right so flutter relies on full installation of android studio to supply its android platform dependencies as, as we are going to develop android applications using flutter so we need android uh, android studio and android setup also right so what we can do however we are we however you you can write your flutter apps in a number 
or filters like uh, you can also write uh, flutter code in visual studio code and number of filters right but uh, if you have android studio that's also good because you uh, uh, flutter plugins are supported in android studio you can work on there so after uh, installing flutter and all those things uh, yeah so as you can see here so what are the things that we have up to now as uh, flutter channel is stable 2.10.3 as already told that i'm installing this one right and android tool churn develop for android studio android sdk version this is this right so command line tool component is missing it's saying that command to sdk manager in command line this this thing is not uh, there right android license status known so okay okay so what they're saying that you can run flutter flutter doctor dash dash android license l i c e yes yes anyway a flutter got installed here i can walk on chrome up to before uh, uh, running for okay so it's asking that android sdk i need to download i don't think so i have android studio in my system but i have android studio i need to update the path i think so okay command line tools i installed to resolve this and ensure that command line tools okay i need to just uh, update the path <coughs> So almost uh, Flutter got installed in our system, right? Uh, this is uh, error some related to uh, Android and SDK managers, right? So we can solve this no issues. But anyhow, Flutter got installed in our system, and Visual Studio developed for Windows. They are saying that you can install Visual Studio, right? Co-editor, but we are going to install Visual Studio Code, right? VSC, not Visual Studio. So no need of this one. And Android Studio we have already already installed VS Code. I have already. Connected three devices already. I have connected devices right. HTTP host availability. So these are the things already we have, but uh, we don't have this one, and uh, no need of this one. I think so. Please install desktop with C plus <clears throat> plus. Later on we can check uh, on this one license also. So it is related to SDK manager, but if you want to uh, build application or try to develop application using uh, Flutter web, as you can see here Chrome develop for web then we can install uh, then we can go ahead and we can create a project and we can start working on this right this is all about uh, installing flutter and if you have time then you can go through this one android studio just after this one you can just simply uh, you know uh, flutter directory config to see the direct android studio install right so uh, just a second we have already android studio it's located right so it's saying that if android studio is not located then uh, you can configure it but here they are saying that android studio is there right so no need and set up devices we have already three devices emulator you can uh, go and check uh, create emulator right android license they are saying but uh, sdk manager is the missing right so as you can see here you have java version 8 installed in an java home so i maybe this this is the issue that uh, we can solve no issues I don't think so. Uh, I have Java uh, installed, right? But uh, I, later on, we can do it, right? No issues. And Windows setup. Okay. So, this is all about. I think so. We have completed our. Um, we can install Windows Visual Studio, but that's not the Visual Studio code, right? PS code. So, I think we have already completed everything, right? So, guys, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. As well as, don't forget to hit like button and bell comment and share with the friends who ever wanted to learn how to install flutter that's all about this video thank you we'll meet in this video with some new awesome topic